Hey guys, what's up? Mike from CoachMikeMcDonald.com here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I just want to ask you the question of how many seeds are you planting every day, right? You know, one thing that I run into when I'm helping people build their business or maybe I'm talking to someone and their business isn't where they want to be, one of the first questions I like to ask people is, you know, how many contacts, how many invites, how many seeds are you planting every single day in your business? Where one thing that I find a lot of people do is they will start setting appointments, they're starting to take action, but they just don't do enough to succeed at a high level, right? And so what happens is they get out there and, you know, one of the favorite uh, audios I listened to over the years is Building Your Network Marketing Business from Jim Rohn great audio, but highly recommend checking that out. And one of the things he talks about is it's a lot, you're building your business is a lot like farming, right? And so when you're out there, you're reaching out to people, you're sending invites, basically you're planting seeds and some of those seeds are going to sprout. Some of them, the birds will get them like Jim Rohn talks about, right? So maybe that's their negative friends, their skeptical neighbors, uh, their broke roommate, right? Whatever the case might be, um, somebody negative talks them out of the business or maybe that's their own self-doubts that do that, whatever the case might be. And so the birds are going to get some, as Jim Rohn would say, right? So here's the thing. When you're out there building your business, how many seeds are you actually planting every single day, right? You know, one thing that I find a lot of people do, maybe they'll go to an event or they'll watch a webinar or they'll uh, read a book or something to that effect, right? And then they get all pumped up, they get motivated and like, all right, you know, and they go throw out like 100 seeds or maybe 30 seeds or 20 seeds, you know, it's 10 times their normal activity that they ever did. And then they just walk away from the field completely and they never water the seeds, right? They never pick the weeds, they never do anything like that. They just take that initial burst of activity and they never do anything else ever again. Well, that's probably why you're not succeeding. Where again, if you just consistently are putting out seed, you're consistently setting those invites, reaching out to people, that's what's gonna create that result long-term. Because what happens is sometimes seeds will sprout immediately, right? Some of the people you send invites to, they're going to you know, respond right away. You're going to set an appointment right away. Some of those seeds you're going to put out there, you're going to send some invites, you're going to reach out to people. Some of them will set an appointment, right? But then they'll cancel. They don't show up. They don't answer their phone, right? The, the birds got them, as Jim Rohn said, right? So again, that's what happens a lot. But if you're not where you want to be, start putting out more seed. Start reaching out to people. Start sending more invites. Start talking to more people. Again, there's uh, one key to success in sales, and that's talk to a lot of people. You know, one of my mentors, Rudy, uh, would talk about there's three keys to success. You know, step one, talk to a lot of people. Uh, key number two, talk to a lot of people. Key number three, talk to a lot of people, right? So it's like the more seeds that you plant, the more people you talk to, the better results you're going to get in your business when you're reaching out to people. So that's one thing to really keep in mind and ask yourself, how many seeds are you planting? Because if you're not throwing a lot out there, you know, things happen, people, you know, the sun gets some of the seeds, the birds get some of the seeds, you know, all these different things that can happen. And so a lot of times what people do as well is they'll plant like one seed, right? They'll send an invite and somebody maybe says that they're interested, right? But they don't really set an appointment or they don't follow through or somebody just expresses some sort of interest. And what happens a lot of times is people will be like, come on, seed, grow. Like, or maybe a little tiny sprout starts to come out, right? And so then they sit and they cheer on that sprout rather than keeping throwing out new seeds, which could lead to a lot more business. And it's like, you don't know if that sprout starts to come out. Again, the sun gets it, it withers and dies like Jim Rohn talks about. You know, somebody steps on it, it, it doesn't work, right? And so that's something to really keep in mind because you can't stop throwing out the seed and watching seeds grow it's not going to grow your business, right? You know, certainly cultivate your seed, right? Water your seed, you know, new team members that are getting started, uh, get them into personal development, start training them, start that duplication process. But you can't wait around on your seeds to grow if you want a big harvest, right? You got to keep planting seed and that's what's going to create that result. You create that momentum first. A lot of, again, like what our business is like is farming. It's not an overnight thing, but if you continue like planting C, you're continually putting stuff out there. More and more people are going to come on board. Some leaders are going to start to develop. Again, you're 
fertilizing that seed, you're watering it, you're working with your new people coming up and it starts to grow and expand as you do that, right? So keep planting that seed. Don't expect to have a huge harvest by planting one seed or yelling at your seeds to grow faster or sitting in the background having a cheering section for your seeds. Like that doesn't work either, right? You got to have that consistent basis of you being out there planting it. You're the farmer. You're the responsible for the harvest right now. And what's cool is some people, when you teach and train them, it's like they're little mini farmers, right? And they're starting to throw out seed for you as well. You're all working together. You're all taking out the weeds. You're all harvesting. And then it grows really fast. And then you have a bunch of farms out there. Eventually, you get someone that is self-sufficient. You've worked with them. You've trained them. You help them develop their leadership. They're growing their own farm. And they're like, dude, thanks for teaching me. You know, high five, right? Here's a couple watermelons for you. You know, here's a portion of my crop because you helped me get things rolling. I couldn't have this successful farm if it wasn't for you. But man, you know, let, let's get things rolling. So again, something to really keep in mind is you've got to keep planting those seeds, putting things out there. And that's what creates the, the business, right? That's what gets things going. So if you're not where you want to be, really just always ask yourself, am I doing enough? Am I putting enough effort out there? Am I reaching out to enough people? Because you got to start the fire. you got to plant those initial seeds. Again, once those plants grow and mature, they, they die, right? But they give off some other seeds, right? And so it can grow and expand as you do that. But you have to be the person that starts with that initial seed and planting them lot. And again, when you talk to a lot of people, you get a lot of results and the numbers work themselves out. So again, guys, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you're not where you want to be in your business, maybe you're struggling, maybe you're not where you want to be, I'd highly recommend checking out my 10-day lead generation bootcamp Facebook coaching group. And in that group, I actually go through 10 days worth of high-level coaching to help you grow and scale your business. You're going to learn things like active prospecting, how to create content to attract high-quality leads to you and your business. You're going to learn how to uh, set up a lead generation system where you can start having content working for you 24-7 and bringing in those targeted leads for your business. So if you want to check out more information on that, uh, comment the number 10 below or feel free to shoot me a message, or if you'd like to join directly right now, you can head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash 10 day group. Again, that's coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash 10 day group. And you can join that 10 day lead generation bootcamp Facebook coaching group as well. But thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We'll look forward to talking to you again soon.